Welcome back to Unter Z, where we last left off, well, we just taken a tomb colonist, and they asked us to... No, it wasn't here. It wasn't here. Hold on. Right here. They asked us to get them uh, mushroom wine. So, uh, we have two options once we get the wine. We have to bring ten cases. Your former passenger awakes on the dock. They've brought friends, thirsty friends. Provide wine and join the celebration. So once we bring the actual wine, we can unlock these and commence with this storyline. Probably get something out of it. Probably something helpful. But for right now, let's go explore the tomb colony of Vendorbrite. On deck, you can hear the sound that a thousand bandaged dead make as they shuffle and cough. It's something like the world's most restless concert audience or the world's most plague-ridden cathedral. Quite grim. Uh, so a lot of these are locked. Ooh, explore Vendorbrite, shall we? Here they favor candlelight over gaslight. The shadows are sw are swagged like cobwebs. The tomb colonists stand still enough to be mistaken for sculpture until they laugh or cough. One building in three seems abandoned. The builders of oh monumental ruins. The builders of this place worked with great slabs of neath wall stone, carved with blink eyed, unsmiling faces and blocky stoic serpents. We can have a picnic or we can search warily. Very tough challenge considering we only have thirty one considering we only have twenty six mirrors, giving us thirty one percent of chance. Or we can just have a nice picnic. And then the growth this place seems peaceful, rest a while. Um, let's take a chance. I really want to see what happens if we search. Search warily. The Neath is rarely gentle. Treat this place as an enemy territory. Only in shadows. The place was deserted long ago. You find traces of glit on a shattered altar. Remains of vermilion paint on a rotting ritual mask. Nothing else. You failed the challenge. Try again. You may have better luck. Okay. That's all for now. You've gained one terror. And you gain one fragment. Okay. But there are other stuff that we could do. Uh, this is the first curator. Z captains, the first curator gives audience. The first curator is responsible for the preservation of the tomb colonists. They've been here much longer than London, like all the oldest tomb colonists. But even tomb colonists dissolve in the end. It's time is close. Hmm. Interesting. No more light. The obsequious steward cautions you. The curator is terribly afraid of moths. He opens the door and you step into near darkness. A pair of luminous lamp lighter bees buzz in a lacetated ivory tube. There is no other source of light. A bandage shape no larger than a child lies crumpled on a couch. It lifts its head with obvious effort. It takes several seconds for you to distinguish its voice from the soft buzz of the bees. Uh, listen to a re whispered request. Ask about the Grand Sanctorium. Accept the commission. Depart for now. Let's whisper. Let's listen to his request. Z Captain, silken skin, not much left of me. I will go into the Grand Sanctorium. Bring me colors. Seven coolers. Pay well. Seven coolers. Cosmogon, Irigo, Pelagin. Steward has list. Find them here and there across the wide black Z. Interesting. So wants us to find these items. Accept the commission. Ah, oh, we might as well. Thank thank you. This poor flesh thirsts for colours. No more words. It collapses, rustling back onto the couch. Even the effort of speaking seems to have diminished it a little. The audience is over. As the door opens, it shrinks from the finger of light that reaches across the floor. Outside, the obsequious steward nods. The book? Yes, the book. He hands you a slim, illustrated volume. The curator is old. The curator is old. Old as dust. We will be grateful if you do this one last favor. You now have the neath... You now have one of this, the neath bow. So we have a book. We also have to find these colors, apparently. Um, A awakens Apoxian, the blue of memory, the brightest coral. C lights Cosmogon, the color of remembered suns. Um, G is lost in Nat, 
which remains when all colors are eaten, that can be found where shadows are mirrored. Ooh. Yeah, well, there's a page from the Nisbo Irigo. Eyes for Irigo. So, if we look through our... So, we have to go and find these colors where these clues are pretty much giving us. Um... P drowns in pillagin, the color of the deepest sea. Somewhere scrawled in the margin, beyond the gate there's a sea more sunless. What? Oh, anyway, this is something that I've never actually been able to do, is find all these colors, but it's something to keep you occupied if you want to try and find them. Um, gather gossip. Let's do that. That's our report view. Uh, really not much. If you want to read this... Uh, best to get the game for yourself. They're pretty much all the same thing. But since we've explored Vendorbright and the Tomb Colonies, let's leave and we're going to go on a little bit more of an adventure. I don't want to go back to port just yet. Because something tells me there's something up here. that, Because if my memory serves correctly, there's a place called Wither up here. That is entirely ice, and they actually pay for memories and such. And information. It's like a big, giant game of story. And besides, the more we discover, the more fragments we get, and that can give us more XP. But the one thing I really find interesting about this is that this is all underground. That this entire game takes place in a sea that's underneath the ground itself. And that's the reason why it's called the Untersea. And... This all happened because London fell inside some sort of weird... London was stolen by what they say, bats. So, ooh, we're coming up on Sensor's Arch. We don't want to get hit by this lifeberg. This thing will kill us. We don't have anything at the moment that can take it on. Uh, kind of reason why I zoomed out of there as fast as I could. But yeah, here's Wither. And we gained 50 fragments. We're almost to a full thing. And it says something awaits us as soon as we make port. So, let's see what's inside Wither. It's always interesting to see what these places have. Even if you've been to it a thousand times, they'll give you a different story each time you go there. Or look around. Behind the great arch over the bay, the whale, the pale wa waste stretched white and silent as the face of the moon. From here you might also imagine they were snow. North of the city, the alt pools fizz with unlikely color. Uh, we can explore the town, gather intelligence, or shore leave and wither. S considering that this is just for taking down terror over here, and we have very little terror, I'm going to s make a suggestion that we just uh, explore the town a little bit. The wither is quite uh, chilly. The Wither is a quiet, chilly town of greystone and closed courtyards. The people are neither exactly unfriendly nor exactly hospitable. They have the irritating habit of answering a question with a question. Here and there, there are odd sights tucked away. The wind speaks. You fall into a reverie as you wander the shore. Mm. There are words in the wind, a story of sorts, of a gate in the north, of a pale light that began there, the drowned light that will end there, of a high wilderness that other ships may sail. Lift your eyes. On the wall of the salt works, someone has scrawled, There is a sea more sunless. So if you go north, there's... Wait, what? So maybe we can find one of those colors if we keep going north. Well, that's an adventure for later. Uh, an occurrence. Your gods is... Okay, we got another, uh... Storms atten we got more attention from Storm. That's another that's good. We got another token. Uh let's gather intelligence, get a report review, and nice. But we're not gonna have shore leave. But I wanted to see the shops. Yep, just as I remember. Uh the shops here, if you wanna buy anything, you have to basically sell stories. And these are the little cards you have where you can Get a Z story or a uh, tale of terror. Anything that they'll find as a story. Any of these stories will be able to pay for the stuff. But at the moment we don't have any stories. We have a chief officer though that it said that we should speak to in the beginning. I remember this now. I'm sorry I have horrible memory. But let's speak to him. 
Uh, increase your mirror. The Z Captain. Look at it out there. It's not our friend. Don't forget that. Oh, so he's saying don't remember that the Z is not a our friend. What does he want? Why does he seek the Z? This is always a good thing, because if you can figure this out, then he'll help you out later in the game. Uh, the Z is enough, but now you mention it, I have always had a desire to see Frost found, a place where the Z rises to become a castle. A place where questions and riddles do battle for truth. He sighs dreamily, but he is watching you carefully. Yes, Frost found. Frost found can be found the very north of Z, and I actually have a good idea where it was, because this entire map is wholly in, uh, procedurally generated. Each time you start up a new game, it's, something changes or different. Or everything becomes different. Um, if we want to, we have a secret. These are the experience points that I was telling you about. And if we want to, we can ask him to increase our mirrors. Which would help us later on in the game. And every time you have these, it's probably best to do it. So now our mirrors are at 27. You gain one million mirror. Mirrors are now 27. So, plus anything else that we have on here giving us mirrors, we now have 27 of the mirrors. I'm guessing that he's giving us, yeah, the slide navigator giving us one mirror. But that being said, let's get going again. I think we should make our way back to London. We have five fuel, seven food. Uh, it's always good to, you know, pace this out. If you you can. I've gotten pretty good to where I can tell when I need to get back to London. Uh, so at five fuel with this amount of rickety little ship, it's good for us to get back to London at the moment. We got lucky because uh, we ha didn't have to worry about supplies much from our journey. But if this goes down, we're also going to have to worry about this because then your crew will resort to cannibalism and that's not good. And Indefinitely, you may have to end up eating one another, and that's also not good. So, let's get ourselves out of here as fast as possible. We don't want to struggle with that lifeberg. Because that thing will, yikes, hurt our ship. Indefinitely. We don't want that. Oh, we discovered a new place. A uh, Kant's Abyss. So as you see, the more we explore, the more fragments we get, and that unlocks secrets where it's our points and everything. But still, like I was saying before, this is all underneath the uh, underneath everything, and that's the reason why it's called the Undersea, or Under Z as they call it. But interesting thing to me is, what if this is actually all down there, down there? It'd be pretty inter pretty cool to think of it. What if there's an entire another world down underneath our feet that is literally that we could you know explore and colonize like this? It'd be pretty interesting to say the least, but it's one of those things that I've always, I always think about. It's the weird oddities of video games that comes to me, like the situations. Uh, Bioshock was one of those that. I love immediately because it does just that. It gives you that situation of what if somebody built a city under the sea and made it this way, but still, even if it wasn't that way, a city under the sea by today's governing is pretty likely. And I've seen many ways how to do this, even with, they could have done it way back then. Uh, when Bioshock was uh, supposedly placed in history, but still. And I think that's one of the few things I like about this. Uh, I really like about Bioshock, I'm sorry. Is that the idea of what happens if you build a city underneath the sea. Is it possible? I really like the idea, and it's, well, it's really interesting to me. Another thing that's really interesting to me is also this way that they have this set up. This game entirely. It's interesting to say at least. It makes you explore. And that's one of the things I love about some games is the ability to just explore. Uh, we have another notification. Like I said, every time you enter a port, it's going to be something different. Um, some things are too illegal for the custom service to admit the existence of. The ministry here are looking for those. 
Nothing to hide. You sure can invite them to search your ship as though as they would like. Uh, unlocked with no more than freaking red honey. We don't have red honey. We have yellow honey. You shrug and invite them to search a ship as thoroughly as they would like. They leave scuff marks on the newly scrubbed decks and take great pleasure in tangling the rigging. They find nothing more dangerous than moldy ship's biscuits. Yep. So let's collect messages. Uh, let's see. Something has changed in the east. Someone wants to sign on. Nice. That's all for now. You have an a free evening, and we have the Rose Market. Bustles on Roser's Wharf. You, who will be there today? And we also have a little gift. A very fine evening to you, Captain. My, what you might call mentor, is very fond of adventure Z captains. And he would like to offer you what you might call a disposition. On account of he is so fond of Z captains. Behind the blind bruiser on a dock stands a tray piled high with fuel and supplies. Except, further inquire, is there a catch? Refuse, too good to be true. Uh, this is actually something that I've always accepted, and it's a good thing to accept because, as you can see, we get 12 fuel, we don't have to spend any money on fuel, and we also get 10 supplies, so we don't have to spend money on supplies. This would actually give us the means to search northward, but later on. Um, if we keep doing this, however, and we help him as he go asks us for stuff, we'll get more in doubt into the criminal underworld, and eventually we won't be able to come on to... We won't be able to go to Fallen London without bribing or sneaking our way in. And it's not exactly fun. Um, so what's next up? We have to go to Roser... Let's go to Roser's Wharf, see what they have. Um, these people will pay a lot of money for stuff. Uh, every time we come here, we can either refresh the market, see if anything's changed or something. But honestly, the fu the easiest thing to get are these moves in the great game. Uh, they will pay you money for this, and moves in the great game are easy to find because all you have to do is journey a good while down. Uh, the map uh, down the right side, left side of the map, uh, and you'll find some, and you'll find a dock that will allow you to go to the surface. From there, you can, if you're lucky, you'll learn moves in the great, uh, moves in the great game, and you can sell them to this guy here. So that's something to keep an eye out for. Another thing that we can do here that I remember is we can go to the Admiralty's office. They'll pay for information from Z captains. Find out what and how. Okay. So, we have information on Hunter's Keep, so we'll give them that. And we got five Echoes. Not much, but we also gain a Favor and one Fuel. Now, Favors can be used to gain more Fuel or repair a ship if it gets broken. At the moment, our hull is 40% of 75, so we're probably going to have to fix it soon. Um, sell for vendor bright. We have more fuel favors, more echoes. Echoes are money around here if you haven't figured that out yet. Uh, then we're gonna send up our report for wither. We get one more fuel, so we have 15 fuel, 20 echoes for that. Oh, nice. And we also gained one more favor. Okay, uh, ask to speak to dark spectacled admiral. Do you have an appointment? Ooh. No appointment, but, hmm, apparently I'm to show you in anyway. Very well. Okay, so this is another thing about the Admiralty that is very interesting. If you work for the Admiralty a lot, they'll help you out as need be. Um, if you find interesting stuff like moves in a great game, you can give them to him here, and he'll give you uh, money and such accordingly, but it won't be a, the great amount that you'll be given from the Roser's Wharf at the Rose Market. Uh, giving them revelatory charts will also gain you money and other stuff like favors. Uh, lots of them also. Uh, vital intelligence. If you can gain up a, a spy network or just find two pieces of strategic information, you can create a vital intelligence and give them here. And he'll pay you handsomely for that. You'll be rewarded immensely for that. 
I haven't never been able to find two pieces of vital information, so I've never gotten that far. But uh, another thing that you can do is you can also give him red honey, and you'll probably get stuff for that. But uh, the best thing to ask him if always uh, what does he need because he'll more likely send you on a task to go someplace so but for right now he has nowhere that he needs us to go but which is okay we sold all our ship reports and we've opened up another interesting area we can go to the university the university is an inexhaustible appetite for secrets these specimens and other tidbits of exotic lore Oh, Estrotic lore. Provide a secret to prove yourself worthy of entry. And it's just one secret, and you have to have no one tick. And it's just one secret that you have to pay to get in, but... Honestly, as soon as you do this, you, this is an alternative to the Admiralty if you work for these people. Uh, oh yes, the University of Marine Maritime Liaison whispers breathly. Oh yes, this is quite a tasty one. Let me explain it to you. She... He explains teeth glinting. You've lost one secret, so our total is now zero. Uh, you twist in your tail. You are now Favor's antiquitarian. Antiquarian. So they will now help us out as best they can sometimes. And we've also gained one page. Pages actually help you uh, progress through stories and such. And they're really good to get. So... As you can see, uh, we have a uh, memory of distant shores. If we sell this to her, we were actually given 10 echoes, we've lost the memory, and our amount of antiquarian is increasing. I mean, the more that we have of that, the more money they'll give us, the more stuck inside a society we are. But as you go through the game, your entire goal is just to see how best everything can fit for you. How can you help the story out? Do you want to help the story out? Do you want to be evil? It all depends on what your playstyle is. So we're going to leave the university. And we've already gone to Rose Docks. Oh yeah, we also have a new recruit that we can hire on. And hiring on new recruits is easy. You just have to have like 50 Echoes. And someone at the port, but what we have here is the in brisk campaigner, who is hireable and is a doctor, and increases our hearts and iron. Iron. This will actually help us uh, if it comes to battles and such. So this will actually help. So we're gonna hire her on. That's done. Go to our lodgings. We're gonna read the morning paper, gain some information. We're going to go to our officer's tab, where we can put the surgeon in the surgeon's position, which increases our iron and our hearts. Nice. And that's going to be it for this episode. Honestly, if you want more of this, uh, just comment down below, like this video, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, I'm going to leave it here. If I do a third one, I'm probably, if I do a third one, I'm going to go down and see if I can uh, get this... Uh, moves in a great game card but for right now thank you all for watching have a great day and space out everyone